Hey guys and gals, this is Radar Roy. I'm sitting here in the cab of my Freightliner truck uh, to do a video for you about uh, Rocky Mountain's new unit, the RMR C, uh, 475 Radar Scrambler and Laser Scrambler. Uh, this is a new unit that was just released within the last uh, couple weeks. Um, those of you that have been following me for any length of time are probably already aware of the $50,000 reward that I offer anyone, and that includes you watching this video, to anyone that could show me one of Rocky Mountain's radar units that actually work as advertised. On our website, RadarJammer.com, we have uh, a number of interviews uh, from news stations, uh, media outlets from across the country. From 2020, ABC's 2020 uh, report, we have a report on there, uh, from CBS Good Morning, uh, the IPN network. And the IPN network is a really interesting one to watch, where I actually approached Raul, the head engineer from Rocky Mountain Radar, with one of their cameras right up, uh, above my shoulder, with cash in hand. And I asked Raul, I said, hey, let's go out in the parking lot. You show me one of your products at work, and you'll get this money. And they basically refused. They said, Roy, our product is not going to work in the parking lot. So I said, okay, let's go out on the street, and we'll do the test out in the street. And they came up with excuse after excuse after excuse. If somebody came up to you with $50,000 in, in, in their hand and asked you to uh, support a product or a service that you believe in, wouldn't you take them up on that offer, especially when you have news cameras uh, rolling? Uh, they refuse. They blatantly refuse to do that. So it's a real interesting to watch. And, again, that video is available uh, on RadarJammer.com. Uh, but if you don't believe me, guys, uh, how about the Better Business Bureau? Uh, Rocky Mountain Radar is lo uh, located in El Paso, Texas. So go to the Better Business Bureau's website, type in Rocky Mountain Radar, El Paso, Texas, and you'll see a whole slew of complaints uh, from Rocky Mountain Radar. Uh, they are not a member of uh, the Better Business Bureau, uh, but because of all the complaints people have lodged against the company, they have their own web page on uh, the Better Business Bureau, and they have a ranking or a rating of C-. minus. Do you really want to do business with a company that's ranked with a C minus? Uh, go through that website. You'll see the complaints. Complaints for uh, people uh, not getting reimbursed uh, because they advertise uh, their ticket reimbursement program. This is the fine print, guys. You'll see those uh, Rocky Mountain Radar units advertised all over the Internet. Free ticket guarantee program. Now they have this little insert in their box, and this is the fine print. Um, and you'll see all the other complaints, uh, not refunding their money, um, and being scammed is the best way to put it. But anyway, we, right after uh, this introduction, I have a video that we shot last night in uh, Wickenburg, Arizona. It was this particular unit pitted against a custom HR-8 radar gun. Uh, the custom HR-8 radar gun is perhaps one of the most popular fixed handheld uh, radar guns used in the United States and perhaps throughout the world. And we pitted this unit against it. And I'll let the video, I'll explain in the video what we're doing um, about that. So, uh, hey guys, uh, right now we'll show the video and we'll get that rolling for you and uh, take a look at that and I'll come right back to you. Hey guys and gals, this is Radar Roy and uh, we're going to be doing the test of the Rocky Mountain RMR uh, C-475. Uh, this is Rocky Mountain's new radar detector. Uh, and Scrambler that they advertise. Um, those of you that have been following me for a number of years know that I offer uh, anyone a $50,000 reward that could show me one of their uh, products that actually work is advertised and uh, recently purchased this and we're going to be putting it to test uh, about a three quarters of a mile uh, from my location. Uh, we have a speed trailer that's set up alongside the road. It's here in Wickenburg. Uh, we have a custom uh, HR8 radar gun, K-band installed on the trailer, and you'll see the uh, speed display uh, lit up as we approach the sign. Now, this is supposed to be a scrambler, and we shouldn't see the speed sign uh, display indicating our speed if this works as they say it does. So what we're going to do, uh, re again, re one of the reasons I'm shooting this at night is because the last video we did on their earlier model, this RMR C450, uh, we shot it during the day and the sunlight really washed out the LEDs. You really couldn't see the LEDs whatsoever uh, during the daytime and they claim that this, my, uh, during my test, my video, that I didn't have the unit on. So we're doing it this at night so you can plainly see it is on 
and what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the unit. Now I want you to notice when I turn this unit on, uh, one of the first things it's going to do through a self-check is validate that the scrambler is turned on. Uh, you're going to hear kind of a really weird kind of scrambling kind of noise and then it goes, goes through the band test. So I'm going to turn this on right now. Rocky Mountain Radar. X-Band. K-Band. K-A-Band. Laser. VG-2. Okay, uh, it's gone through its self-test. And now what I'm going to be doing is going out here on the roadway uh, to our uh, sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sit back a little bit. And it's already started detecting the uh, speed sign, which is very good. Uh, we're within a half mile. So I give credit to Rocky Mountain Radar. Uh, at least it detects radar. But let's see if it could actually scramble radar like they claim. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to keep the uh, scrambler within the frame and uh, we'll start seeing the speed gun or uh, the radar speed trailer up here on our right. We're doing about uh, 37 miles an hour and you see the speed trailer that's flashing. It's flashing that we're doing 36, 35, and you see that it had no effect on the. Uh, uh, speed trailer at all. And again, uh, this speed trailer has a custom HR8 um, radar gun. It's a handheld radar gun, uh, typical of uh, many of the same radar guns used by police officers. In fact, it's interchangeable. So uh, this concludes our test of the Rocky Mountain C475, uh, and I still stand by my offer. Anybody that can show me one of these devices that actually scramble radar or laser as uh, they claim, we'll have a uh, check for $50,000. Um, this is Radar Roy. Uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Okay, guys, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and you could see, you know, that this unit does not work as they advertise it to be in scrambling police radar. Uh, this radar trailer had the exact same radar gun that's used by police officers throughout the country. Uh, one of the most popular radar guns, a custom radar gun. Uh, a handheld unit, an HR8 that was plugged into the unit. Uh, but guys and gals, you know, uh, do your research before you buy this thing if you're thinking uh, buying such a unit. Read my blog, RadarRoy.com. I have my buyer's guide, RadarRoy'sBuyer'sGuide.com. Uh, we also offer a gift card uh, that you can uh, use on uh, RadarBusters.com, a site that I do some consulting with. And we just have a whole bunch of information. Also check out our uh, form at Radar Detector Net. Uh, I still stand by my offer. Anybody that can show me a Rocky Mountain Radar unit that works at Advertised, I have a $50,000 check for you because it's not going to work. Uh, you can read the details on this challenge, my challenge on uh, RadarJammer.com. Um, hey guys and guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact me uh, on our websites, uh, RadarRoy at RadarRoy.com or on our contact page on my buyer's guide. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great day and drive safe. I'll be speaking with you soon. This is Radar Roy. Bye-bye.